What's up, everybody? Red Thorn here, bringing you Aiden Castle Clan War Round Two here in the game Lineage Two Revolution. Disclaimer: This video is probably gonna suck. Let's go. All right, so you're asking me why is this video going to suck is because of this reason right here. Redemption, not finding anybody. Here in the middle, it's all Pardo. On the right, it's all Fire and Ice. So obviously, I'm being told, not obviously, but I am being told that this is the way it was set up. I don't know if, if Fire and Ice wanted this to go this, this way or, or not. Uh, obviously, they probably wanted FSK in there, but that didn't happen as they were eliminated on day one. Here in the middle, I mean, I'm being told by, by members of Pardo that they set it up this way so that Transcendence would win this battle. So it would be Redemption and Transcendence versus whomever would win from Fire and Ice. I was told that it should be Impact. So technically speaking, I, I have no reason to do this video. Except for one reason. And that is to show everybody... What is what this fight is all about? Like, what you're, are are you supposed to do? So here are the rules. This is the map, okay? And you've got the various icons. Still don't know what these purple gates actually mean. There's no scrolling up and down, so I'm going to assess that it's just a harder to destroy gate. And then you've got your three different types of flags. As you can see, they get bigger and bigger. Starting in the outer bands, that's where the smaller flags are, and then you get the medium side and smaller ones in the inner band, and then there in the middle is the biggest one. Here are your round rules. The goddess flag, that's the big one in the middle, and then you got the, the medium ones, the cavalry, all worth different points. Here you've got speed plus 15%, my, instead of speed minus 25%, so I, maybe that's what that actually meant. You were actually slowed down by 25% in round one. Uh, other than that, you know, and then of course there's the rewards and what have you. So, hit that map again, yeah, so you're supposed to capture, it's capture the flag. And take the flags away from the other people as well, and that gets you points. Now, there was a, oh here it is. So this battle is 15 minutes. It says clan who plays 4th place 10 minutes after the start is eliminated midway. That's kind of a little misleading because 10 minutes out of 15 is not midway that's like two-thirds of the way but we understand what they're talking about i mean you know whatever so i mean there's only three i'm going to be recording the fire and ice one and there's only three clans so this will be a good example of does somebody get eliminated uh after 10 minutes when there's only three clans does the third clan or the, you know the the bottom most clan of the three get eliminated? I mean, we'll find that out, which is fantastic. All right, so let's see here. On round one, I was not able to enter until about eight seconds before. I had to go back and watch the video. It was eight seconds when it said time remaining that I was actually able to spectate. And then when you got in, there were 12 seconds before the beginning of the battle. So there's a little discrepancy there that Marvel needs to look into and possibly fix. Like... Being able to come in maybe three minutes beforehand? I don't know. But I'll keep trying, and when we get in there, we'll get in there. Alright, so I'll, it said there were ten seconds remaining, and we have ten seconds remaining before the beginning of this battle. It said ten seconds back in the lobby. Five seconds before we begin! Doesn't look like anybody's down here. Here we go! Aiden, Castle, Clan War, number two... Number one, round two, day two. That's the goddess statue, or goddess flag, I believe. Or that's not, nope, that's not it. That's one of the, the Calvary flag. I don't even know where anybody is. So those are the small flags. This is the big gate, so this must be a reinforced steel gate, not just a steel gate. There's the goddess flag that's worth five points. There are waypoints all over the place. All right, here's... I don't want to crash. So there's Fira. Is somebody trying to get this? Okay, so it looks like they're imprinting, like an altar imprint, and then boom, they take the cat, uh, the flag, as indicated by a red 
What is that? Oh, okay, that, that's a little overlay. That's pretty cool. All right, not too shabby. So I can keep this on. And here we have, here in the green, we have Impact. Impact is getting the goddess statue. So it looks like Impact has eight flags of 18 points. Royal Club has four flags of eight points. And Fear has six flags of two points. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, they, they may be... Okay, I'm sorry. The two points are in second place. They're 14 and 8 for flags and points, it looks like. And they're number one! Fear is number one. It, doesn't, it looks like... Uh, it looks like they want to have uh, a little go at uh, whoever's winning the other one. I mean, we've got 12 minutes and 25 seconds remaining. It's anybody's guess right now. That would be funny. Are they fighting? Are they fighting each other? Ah, uh, let's take off the overlay. Okay, that, that was short-lived. Overlay back on. I don't know who is allied. Oh, apparently you can't take the overlay off while you are moving. Alright, impacts... Oh, okay. So as you take flags away, it's almost like you take points away from the other team. So impacts in lead now. It's like they're trying to take out this reinforced steel gate. That's all over the place. Boy, I bet this stuff just gets crazy in an actual real battle. And there are waypoints everywhere. Like, holy moly, that's just, that's a crash waiting to happen. Impact is first with 11 flags, 10 flags now, and 22 points. 11 flags. <laughs> Sorry. Flags. 12 flags. Maybe I should say points instead. So it looks like when they lost a flag, they lost a point. Uh, let's see, we're approaching the 10 minute mark, and nobody was eliminated. So it must be, you know, the 5 minute mark. 10 minutes into the battle. Oh look, and these gates actually respawn! That's a long respawn time. That was it, like 5 minutes? That doesn't really help anybody. Impact has 15 flags. 31 points. I think these guys are all... Are they allied with each other? I mean, because you see dead people around. I see dead peoples! Uh, actually, so we saw the respawn timer on the steel gate. A reinforced steel gate. And that's a minute and 20 seconds for a respawn time for the steel gates. Alright, so you've got around five minutes or so... Four to five minutes for the reinforced that's in the middle. Four to five minutes respawn time for the reinforced steel gates and a one minute and 20 second respawn time on the steel gates, the normal ones. Oh, that's not responding. But it did, you can see the icon reappear. I guess you just can't stand there. Yeah, there it is now. So you can't stand there, however. This guy is trying to take on a gate by himself. We'll check back with him in, in a few minutes. Him or her. Impact looks like they're just trying to get all the flags now. Well, it looks like Impact and Royal Club are not allied with each other, as they just killed that person. I would assess that in a real fight this would be absolutely phenomenal but this is the America servers server servers I mean if Lancer were here it would be the servers and there's just it's dead I mean this is compared to C this is dead wow okay so here's what's gonna happen I'm going to cut the rest of this out because there's absolutely no point in doing this. Although, look at that. Maybe there is a point. Fira is now number one. Alright. The rank four clan. The rank four clan will be eliminated soon. They give you a double warning there. There is no rank four clan, so we're about to find out in 40 seconds if 
Royal Club will stay in the fight or be eliminated. There is no clan in fourth place. Nope. So there you go. Not in this fight, though. When there's three or less, then that means absolutely nothing to everyone involved. Oh, this guy already beat it down. So I wanted to see what that actually was. Okay, now I'm going to cut all this out and we'll find out who will win this at the end. All right, we got 10 seconds before the end of this battle. Looks like Impact's going to win this one. Here are your stats. Congratulations to Impact from Lamel. <laughs> uh, even though we kind of knew that that was fixed. And I'm, there we go. Good grief. I'm trying to tap on that. It wasn't going. And that's the end of that. There are your stats. And there are your three teams who will be participating on Saturday for round three. Redemption and Transcendence of Pardo versus Impact. I, yeah, it, upsets are always possible. But I think Pardo is going to wind up winning that. No offense to Impact, but uh, yeah, you guys are about to get embarrassed. No matter how many mercenaries that you get. Because if you think you're going to get a bunch of mercenaries from FSK, you think Redemption and Transcendence are going to get a bunch of mercenaries from Pardo. So it'll be, I mean, I'll be there Saturday to see this, obviously, and record it since it's the first one. But I really hope in the future more people or more clans participate and make this a bit more exciting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.